welcome to Arzell Zoning Technologies. Here we are showing how to install our damper system. We'd like to do a nice instructional video for our contractors to follow. And that's going to help everybody in the field have a better understanding of Arzell's product, but also answer a lot of the common troubleshooting questions that you might run into. So here we have our basic necessity for installation. We got our snips, hammer, screwdriver, drill, and the RZL toolkit. While this isn't required, it does help to keep the technician's toolbox lighter, and we can all appreciate that. In our toolkit, we have our tubing staples, a tubing staple gun, we have fittings, one inch screws, and every toolkit comes with an installation air reservoir to make those jobs where you have a lot of internal dampers or a lot of a lot of our easy fit and our inserted dampers a little bit neater on the installation process. So first, we're gonna install a few dampers. Let's put our safety glasses on, make sure we protect those eyes. These are our two most popular dampers for installing when the basement's been drywalled and things are inaccessible. Our inserted damper slides in through the supply ducts. You would cut access holes that would allow you to get to the takeoffs and you're gonna insert this up through the takeoff or round elbow and it does fit through six inch elbows. Or we have our easy fit damper that you would install through the register boot. So you would route your tubing through the duct system, connect it up to our damper Hold it and insert it. With the inserted damper, same thing. And we have special plenum rated tubing that you can use. It's U all rated for fire and smoke. Connect it up, pinch it, take it right up through the takeoff. If your hand's like mine, it's a little bit fat, make it stuck, but it does fit. The springs will hold the damper in place, the tubing sticks out, and you can route it through a hole that you just drilled through the duct system. Grab our reservoir, screw it to the duct, connect it up. That simple. All right, we've installed our Easy Fit, we've installed our Inserta. Now for our most popular damper, the Easy Slide. Every damper comes with a sticker. Slap it to the duct and we'll cut that in. I like the screwdriver. Some people prefer to use a step bit, drill in the three corners. This is what I'm used to. Have it cut in, close the damper, slide it up, twist it so your nozzle or your air tube connector is facing the ductwork. Grab some one inch screws in your screwdriver, zip it up. I do opposing corners just to kind of square it off. It's up to you. Now we got our dampers installed, we can get back to our tubing. I like to start at the furthest location, connect it up, then start stapling my way back. Helps to keep things straight, gives it a nice professional appearance for the customer, and they'll be happier. Snips still work pretty good for it. Cut your tube. It's just rubber, so that's not gonna put the nook in your blade. Pull a little bit extra. Connect up to your damper.
then just work your way down the line. It's that simple. A whole lot faster than wires, transformers, and all the low voltage that you need with a conventional damper system. We've done our best to make it easy and make this the most popular, easiest to install damper system that you're going to find on the market. Thank you for sticking with us up to this point. We finished installing our dampers, we finished installing our tubing. One thing I like to do is leave a service loop at the top of the panel. The reason for the service loop is because eventually somebody's going to have to disconnect this and they're not going to have enough tubing to reconnect it. So if you make a service loop, you've saved your technician and yourself a lot of aggravation trying to figure out where to get that extra tubing at. If you do run into any trouble, give us a call at 800-611-8312. We'll be more than happy to walk you through any questions you may have. 800-611-8312. Thank you.